The fertility industry is booming. More people than ever are having procedures in the UK, and the success rates too are improving. But fertility treatment is unique in British healthcare because the vast majority of patients are also paying customers. New data from the Human Fertilisation and Embryology Authority shows that whilst the number of IVF treatments rose by 9% between 2019 and 2021, the number carried out on the NHS actually fell by 10%. For patients aged 18 to 34, 63% of IVF procedures are now privately funded, compared to 52% back in 2019. One of the major issues is ballooning NHS waiting lists. So typically a couple would be trying to conceive for two years before going to see the GP. The GP would then send them for tests, um, um, both male and female tests. And, and some of these tests, such as laparoscopies, they can take in some parts of the country up to two years to have that test. And that's before you actually then get referred to the fertility clinic, where there sometimes can be additional delays. So when you consider that, Time's of the essence when it comes to fertility treatment. Families, too, are changing. The numbers of single women and lesbian couples seeking fertility treatment have risen sharply. But these two groups in particular can struggle to access treatment on the NHS and have to try other methods, such as manual insemination, first. To get the funding, the eligibility to the IVF is... Um, we have to have tries of IUI. I think it's three to six tries, and we have to prove that we've tried IUI treatment before we're considered for IVF, which costs thousands of pounds again. So um, there's a huge barrier. IVF was pioneered here in Britain. 45 years on, it's revolutionised fertility treatment. But more needs to be done to ensure the benefits of that revolution are equally shared. Matthew Thompson, Sky News.